Mind your decisions, I'm Presh Talwalker. This is a fun problem for Valentine's Day, or any day of the year. Start with the square whose side lengths are equal to 1. On two adjacent sides, construct semicircles to form a heart shape. The final step of the construction is to circumscribe a circle around the heart. The question is what is the radius of the large circle? I thank Steven from Belgium for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. Recall, if two circles are tangent, their centers and the tangent point are collinear. Suppose we have circles A and B that are tangent at point T. Construct the tangent line through the point T. By construction, AT will be perpendicular to the tangent line, and BT will also be perpendicular to the tangent line. Therefore, ATB is a straight line. This is true for both externally and internally tangent circles. Now let's solve the problem. First construct the center of the large circle and the center of the semicircle. Construct a line segment between the two centers and the tangent point. Suppose the large circle has a radius equal to r. The semicircle has a radius that's one half the side length of the square, so it will be equal to 0.5. Therefore, the distance between the two centers is equal to r minus 0.5. We will also have another radius of the semicircle, and its length will be equal to 0.5. Construct a chord of the circle exactly through the middle of this diagram. Notice it will be a diameter of the large circle, and it will go through two corners of the square. Since the square has a side length equal to 1, the diagonal of the square will be equal to the square root of 2. Next, notice this is a radius of the large circle. Therefore, this distance will be equal to the square root of 2 minus r. We also know that one of the angles in this triangle will be equal to half of 90 degrees, or 45 degrees. We can thus focus on this triangle and its lengths. We've reduced this problem to one of trigonometry. From here, we'll be able to solve for r using al kashis law of cosines. It's a familiar formula. We can simply apply this formula to the side lengths and the angle. We will then simplify this equation to solve for r. To do that, we'll expand each binomial and simplify each side of the equation. Then, we will simplify this equation by canceling like terms. We now simplify each side of the equation, and we get a linear equation in R. We can group the R terms together, and then solve for R. To make things a little bit cleaner, we can rationalize this fraction. We'll multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. Once we simplify, we get that R is equal to 3 times the square root of 2 plus 2 all over 7, and that's approximately equal to 0.892. And that's our answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.